Good morning and thank you for joining us on the last day, the 21st day of our 21 day prayer and devotion. Some of you have been with us right from the day one all the way up to now. I'm sure God spoke to you. I'm sure this journey has been um, um, something where you could learn a little bit of wisdom in, throughout this journey uh, in different aspects of your life just like I, I have learned and I'm sure you have learned some wonderful lessons. Um, we are going to close this um, 21 day prayer and devotion talking about how God answers our prayers, right? The last two days we looked at that. We looked at how um, God answers our prayers, that God answers our prayers in His own time and God answers our prayers in His own way. And today, as we close, we're going to talk about one last thing about how God answers our prayers. Listen, God answers our prayers in His own power. Um, you know, often we try to help God out by giving our solutions, by trying to tell God, this is the way I want it to be done. If this is how it is to be done, you know, see, don't try to help out God. Uh, don't ask for it, you know, and then go out and try out, work out in, in your own, in, on your own. Let God answer your prayers with his power. That's when it's called miracle. And, you know, and, and God says, let me do it. Let me do it in my own power. Um, you see, that's what happened in Luke chapter 1. We've been discussing about how God answered Zechariah and Elizabeth's prayer. We saw that God answered in his own time and that's why John the Baptist happened. We saw that God answered in his own way. Uh, you know, everything that God plans out, it's, it's always in his own way for his own purpose. And uh, today we're, we're talking about God's power it's important it's an important truth that we can learn from the story of Zechariah and Elizabeth the fact is this God often waits until the situation becomes humanly impossible before he intervenes when did God give Zechariah uh, and Elizabeth a baby after they are beyond childbearing days isn't that what Zechariah said to angel how is it possible I'm already my wife is old She's well beyond a childbearing age. Um, they said we are too old to have a child. Physically, it is impossible and unable. They are unable to bear, have a kid. And then God answered the prayer. Why? Because when God answers an impossible situation, who gets all the credit? Only God. Who gets all the glory? Only God. That's why God waits until the situation becomes humanly impossible. It, is a it gives a scope for a greater miracle. The same thing happened to Sarah and Abraham. One day God came to Abraham and said, you're going to be a father of a great nation. Abraham said, I don't have any kids, but that's great. So he waited and waited and waited and waited. All of a sudden, Abraham is 99 years old and still nothing happened. Sarah, um, you know, was well beyond her childbearing ages. It's, it's, well, it's not the... Uh, first time the man knew his wife was going to be pregnant uh, he knows um, the, how a pregnant woman looks like and obviously Sarah is beyond um, the years of childbearing uh, and even for that matter when Sarah heard about how God is going to bless them with a child what was her reaction? She started laughing and then God gives them a child God waited until it is humanly impossible hopeless then he answered the prayer with a miracle. Now here is the warning about prayer. Huh? Whatever prayer you've been praying for. If you started praying about something, particularly a problem or a situation, don't be surprised if the problem gets worse before it gets better. Why? Because sometimes God waits, will let things to go, get to the point of hopelessness in order that he might gain most glory out of it. So let God answer uh, in his power. His plan is to let the thing get out of our control and then when we are ready to give up, when we are about to give up, all hope, that becomes an opportunity for a miracle. There's a beautiful story in the Bible that illustrates this. The story of Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus. Um, that when these friends of Jesus, when they send the information to Jesus that Lazarus is, um, is sick and is almost on the deathbed, Jesus, Bible says, Jesus intentionally delayed. 
for you if you look at it from the from an outsider perspective viewpoint it looks like jesus is being callous is being you know i don't care it looks like he didn't care just in, 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 impervious to the situation that both mary and martha were in and lazarus was in um he waits three more days then after three days of the request being sent to him then he turns to his disciples and says let's go he goes to lazarus so by the time lazarus is already dead mary and martha have come running out um, both of them saying the same thing to jesus jesus where where have you been um, you know if you had been here when we called you this wouldn't have happened now we called you four days ago uh, you delayed and my brother is dead our brother is dead mm, he's buried is is you know is is in the tomb we do the same thing right often when things get delayed and we had hoped the answer would come before and answer didn't come and things got worse we say god why god why, why are you doing this what are you doing you don't even care about us uh, you have an answer it's still lousy my life is getting worse than this uh, my job is really bad i don't know what's happening to me but jesus calmly looks at martha and mary and says mary and martha if you just believe you will see the glory of god you will see a miracle that's what he said he walks up to the cave because they in those days you know they buried people in caves uh, and then asked for the stone to be moved out as as the stone as they moved the stone uh, out of the way jesus says lazarus come on down come forth somebody had said it's a good thing that he said lazarus because if he had just said come out everybody who has been dead up to that point would have gotten up and come out of the graves um, well that's the power of the voice of god right um the point is this that jesus waited until the situation became humanly impossible and then he did a miracle and he did it in his own power now doing that brings more glory to god what would have been a better thing for jesus to do what would have brought more glory to god raising a dead man or healing a sick person think about um there's another story in the bible where um um you know a, a guy called zairus walks up to jesus because his 12 year old daughter was sick she's dying she he starts walking and this is walking there's another lady who had a problem uh, that was also for 12 years the daughter was 12 years old and this woman had been ill for 12 years it's an interesting thing eh? uh jesus is walking to zairus home um while he's walking in the crowd jesus stops and turns around and says who touched me disciples are saying jesus so many people are following you what do you mean by who touched you um you're in a crowd um what would you do if you were jairus think about that your daughter is dying and jesus is stopping in the middle of his journey coming to your home he stops and he says who is touching me i mean you get really mad um, you know because they're sure he's going to be it's getting delayed you want jesus to come fast to your home but jesus stops and he turns and looks for this woman who touched his the hem of his garment and then he speaks to her and tells her your faith has healed you and and all that and then he starts walking to jerusalem so what do you think jesus was trying to do and i think that's the thought i want to leave you with today as we close the 21 days of prayer what do you think jesus is talking to jairus he was he trying to do something was he trying to teach something i think he was what jesus was trying to do is this while jairus is thinking there is a there is a delay because jesus stopped jesus was actually trying to show jairus jairus i'm going to answer your prayer but before i answer your prayer look at what i can do and believe it even if there is a delay if this is what i can do i can do that to you your daughter too your daughter is 12 years old this woman is for sick for 12 years she's been healed if she can be healed your daughter can be healed but jairus missed the point he never saw what jesus was trying to do and that's why he was getting frustrated and that's why when people came and began to um, you know discourage him he was getting discouraged everybody was getting discouraged the point of the story is this while you're waiting for god to answer your prayers keep your eyes open 
to see the confirmation to see for confirmations of god's power in others lives when you begin to see what god is doing in somebody else's life your faith increases in god in the power of god jairus is a living example it didn't matter if the girl was alive or dead jesus was going to go there anyway so whether dead or alive he was still going to rise up the jairus daughter so he you know it's he turned for the woman as if to say to jairus jairus hold on your horses watch this you have not seen anything yet you know and he heals the lady when you're waiting for a prayer that's been delayed keep your eyes open to watch god at work in other people's lives and it will build your faith that's the challenge i want to leave you with you would have prayed for so many things over the last 21 days hoped that god would change situations and often god is looks like oh, god is delaying and uh, you know waiting and waiting and waiting and you've been waiting but here is the point while you're waiting look into others lives and you get to see god at work in their lives it will fill you with faith let me close off with this thought at the end of the day um everything god does everything god says every time god answers our prayers he will always do it for his own purpose remember that we may come to him with our own agendas with our own needs but he would answer for his glory always answer for his glory and that's why we must understand this we must wait for god to do and answer our prayers in his own time we must wait for god to do and answer our prayers in his own time we must be willing to let god do uh, everything for with his own power and for his own purpose if you are willing to do that the 21 days that you spent in his presence learning and praying would bear fruit that's our prayer for you that what you have learned what you have been praying for would ans- would be answered what you have learned would be imprinted upon your heart you would grow in your faith you would begin to bear fruit through your lives god bless you have a wonderful new season